Plan Radar's report templates enable you to create the framework to export project data to regulatory standards, such as site diaries and handover reports, or replicate your company's existing report templates. To start creating your new report template, first navigate to the templates menu on the sidebar. Click on the button, create new report template, and you will have the option to create using our pre-built template to export project data in a pre-structured format or use our template builder. In this video, we will work with the template builder. To watch the guide to the pre-built template, please visit our YouTube channel. When you use the template builder, you can choose one of our sample reports to customize or start a new template to build it step by step. In this example, we will show you how to customize one of the sample templates, the safety audit report. To have your ticket data displayed in the selected report, you need to match your created ticket fields with the corresponding template fields. Click on show field mapping to do this manually, or if you do not yet have a suitable ticket form, you can create the form and map the fields automatically by selecting Create and Map Form. With the field mapping complete, you are taken to the settings of the report template. This is where you can set the style of your report and set the priority order of data that will be displayed. At the bottom of the page, you can create your own header and footer that can appear on every page of your report. To customize the header and footer, drag and drop your company logo, and you can add project attributes, such as project name. You can set the format for the start and end of your report via the cover page and appendix page. On these pages, you can add text, add project data using the attributes icon. Here we will add the project website. And you can also add the date and time of the export of your report via the generic attributes. You can ensure that your header and footer appears on every page by checking the box. Within the tickets page, you can define the report data and the design. All of the project information you have gathered within Plan Radar is available for you to add as drag and drop attributes, which you can position anywhere on your report. This means that as you change and update project information, it will automatically be updated within the content of your report. To customize this existing report template and add new data fields, you can do this in two ways. The first way is to copy and paste content. Open your source document and copy the content you need and paste it into the template. Plan Radar will automatically recognize the source and ask you if you want to keep the source format or adapt it to the target format. In this example, we kept the source format. However, once the content is pasted in, if you need to make any changes to the text, you can use the toolbar to adapt the style. Here, we will center the field names and we will add an additional field label for time of inspection. You can also use the toolbar to create content. So now we will delete the content we just pasted in and create it using our toolbar. First, we will navigate to the more paragraph icon. Here you can align your text, add links and horizontal lines to organize your content, 
and add page breaks to make content appear on separate pages, much like Microsoft Word. For this purpose, we will insert a table and select how many rows and columns we need. Next, we need to add text to these tables. To do this, simply click into the table and start typing to add your text. We can make sure that the text appears in the same style as the rest of the report by using the more text icon and changing the font size and we will make it bold. Next, we will add attributes within our report template to enable the template to pull in project information that you have collected in Plan Radar. This is the ticket attributes. Here you can choose from ticket fields that you have available within your forms. The project attributes enable you to select project information you want to have displayed in your report export. The ticket image attribute allows you to have your ticket photos included in your exports. The protocol attribute adds ticket comments and journal history. And the plan section allows you to show the ticket position in an overview or detailed view of each ticket. We have other attribute icons available where you can add documents, add user attributes, and add the date and time that you are exporting your data. To start adding these attributes to your template, first place your cursor to where you want the specific content to appear and select the attribute you need. Here we will add a ticket attribute. You can choose attributes from the static fields which appear on all forms or you can select ticket attributes that you have created within your forms. At this stage, it is important to only add attributes from, from one form or static data fields. When you export the report, you will go into the form to perform the export. If you have added an attribute from a different form into the report template, the export will not contain the ticket field or the ticket data. However, if your report does need to include fields from two or more forms, you can enable expert mode to complete this. Scroll to the bottom of the page and enable expert mode. To have multiple layouts, you first need to add them via the add report layout button. Select a form to assign a new report layout for the form tickets. You can also select previously created report layouts to copy the style so that you do not need to create the content from scratch. First click the checkbox and then select the report layout that you want to base it upon. So now I have multiple report layouts available to me in my template. You can move between these report layouts by using the drop-down box at the bottom of the page. You can add rich data to your report, such as images or planned sections. When you choose to add ticket images, you are adding a placeholder for the location at which the images will appear. You can define the size of the images, which sets the percentage width of the image in the page of the final report. You can also choose to import the plan view. And here you can choose a detailed view to see the pin position or choose an overview to show the area in which the pin is located. You can also set the width and the height of the plan in your final report. To show you an example, 
Here is a report at which the image size is 50% and the plan is set to 400 by 400. As a comparison, you can see here a 100% image size and a plan view of 200 by 200. You can also edit the way that the pages appear in your report by adding, deleting and rearranging the tabs. To add a page, simply click on the plus icon and you have the choice to add a blank page or upload a PDF. This could be your company contract amendments or general information sheets that will be included in your final report. You can label your pages by changing the page title within the page you've just created. You can also rearrange pages by dragging and dropping the page order using the three lines at the side of the page name. With your report template complete, you are now ready to export the project data into the template format. Navigate to the tickets menu on the sidebar. Select the form you would like to report on. And choose the template we just created. Your report is already exporting. The process takes just seconds and then your file is ready to download.